Yeah, if they hit the wave, remember that they changed the XP dispatch, so they get level 3 with one minion, right? With only that one. You need one Wait, less... really? Yeah, yeah, you need one less minion for level 3 now. That single yeah. back trade costs all of this. It costs you to be stuck in the lane, you can't trade, you can't, like, walk up. One tiny mistake screws your whole lane. Oh, I would ult the bush here to stop a regal. Oh, nice, he stayed holy moly. He should never regal in that one. <laughs> I would have ulted yeah. the, the, the third one in the back. Okay, you I did. do it now. Oh, no, no way. I but why are you so passive? Wait, 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 wait. Here, you keep kiting when you auto attack her this direction, and then you get reset here, and you keep going. First of all, you can never leash here in Halo, in this lane. If you leash, you lose. Unless, yep. unless the enemy, like, trolls. And the second thing is that you should early come here with your team if you can, like, ping it. At least with Jenna, but if you can come with, like, one more player, just so that... You don't want to kill them, you can't. What you're going to do is just prevent them from getting in that bush. Because what happens yeah. is, against these long-range uh, Halo Blades bot lanes, Ash support or Sina support or whatever, the win condition they have is coming to this bush level 1. Because if they come to that bush level 1, then they let the minion wave pass and meet in the center, and then they just zone you from behind the minion wave and you can't get to the XP. Because they have such mm -hmm. a strong level 1. So your job is to not let them come to that bush level one. I don't. So you can't really hold this one, right? Because if they come, both of them, they still kill you here with Halo Blades. I think Jenna would die. So what you should do instead is like one of you put a ward here if you're gonna hold this bush, or hold the one in the front because if you hold one that is more in the front, you can see them coming and then you leave. Mm -hmm. But if you hold this one, okay. they just come out of this bush and they kill you, right? Be careful with that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It's really silly that they are not coming to this wish. I don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, this is something you should know. When you're playing against a lane that has more bulk and pressure than you, and you're playing Jinx, you never hit the front minions like that. What you do is you walk up here before Varus can hit you, and you rocket the back lane. So when you rocket the backlane, two things will happen. Number one, let's say that you push these ones first. You know what's going to happen? The whole blue wave will come here. So now you got to walk up close to the enemy to farm and you get poked. Mm -hmm. And number two, the way it's programmed, if you hit the backlane wave, they break formation and they come here. And now you can farm them from really far away. And also, you get level two. And, and then, by the way, if you kill these ones, you can farm these to get level two. And then the next way, obviously, but you confirm this from really far away, really safe. But if you kill the melees first, and then you gotta walk up close to the enemy. So you never wanna kill the melees first in this lane. You wanna mm, always okay. kill the, the back lane first. Especially before Ash comes to the lane. So you gotta use this opportunity. Ash is not here yet, and this guy is arriving late. So this is perfect for you to hit the back lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mindset here was like, I'll, I'll just shove the wave so that... This lane that is really bad doesn't get like even worse from the start. Um, yeah, but you show but yeah, faster by hitting the backlane. Yeah, yeah. Because remember that your the backlane does more damage, right? So if you kill these ones first, your minions take longer to die. By killing the backlane, you actually make the minions come to you, the enemy minions. So the next wave will come closer to you. And then they mm -hmm. are the ones that gotta play closer to you. Okay, let me show you now the minions coming. Okay, so let's say that you're arriving now on the lane. So when you hit them once, see how you kind of drag them to you a little bit. And uh -huh. now, after the fourth one, see how the wave is still here. And now you confirm it really far away. See, I confirm it from here. Mm -hmm. So see how I'm really safe. But if I had killed yeah. these ones first, then I gotta walk to here to farm. It's really bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, see how you drag them to you? If you did that sooner, that mm -hmm. would be really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, Ash is super trolling by arriving this late. That's super bad. Like, <laughs> you can't play Ash support if you're gonna arrive late. You lose the whole, the whole idea of mm -hmm. the champion is to arrive early. Whole purpose, yeah. Yeah. But it was was kind of like two v one. I would have never warded that bush, but you said you're showing, so you need to have the ward for showing and warding the river. And Ash is not gonna stand in that bush, you know, because you're showing she can't be in that bush. That ward is really bad. Right, yeah, I got, I got it so, so that I could get like one more auto, but maybe that's not It's not worth it, it yeah. Because 
You said that you want to show so they can't poke you, which is correct. But the whole point is that you need to have a ward if you show. Mm -hmm. You're asking the Janna to ward, but like, then it's going to expire. Also, the channel yeah. could come all the way around. But okay. You keep doing the same thing. See, you keep hitting the front line first, and then you gotta walk deeper. You always kill the back line first when you push like this. Mm -hmm. Because now, look at how the cannon will walk to Varus, and it goes deeper. Well, they did the same. <laughs> You're both doing the same. <laughs> Interesting. Well, they're getting level 3 first, gotta be careful with that. I wouldn't hit the wave here, because they're getting... I guess Ash is not hitting the wave. So, <clears throat> here you're doing something wrong, but you're you're surviving because of Ash being bad. So, as you can see, Ash is not hitting the wave, which is really bad. Because mm -hmm. Yeah, should be going for level 3. Yeah, if they hit the wave, remember that they changed the XP dispatch, so they get level 3 with one minion, right? With only that one. You need one Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, you need one less minion for level 3 now. Oh, uh, you didn't know? Wow. Hadn't realized that, no. Yeah, they, they changed how the XP works. Um, yeah, I saw that, but I didn't think it would impact like the first levels. Well, actually, look. See how. I don't know if you knew, but now, see this minion? If, mm -hmm. you, kill, if you kill a ward, this minion gives you level 2 now. If you kill a ward. Mm, okay. So it's not something that I have used a lot, but if you get a sweeper level 1 and kill an enemy ward, you get level 2 with that minion. Uh, look at them, they're gonna get level 3 with this minion instead of the next one. Usually it would be the two minions, but now they will get level 3 with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you're kinda <clears throat> trolling here, if they play it smart, they can kinda kill you. Uh, and that's why I would never hit this wave if I was you. If I was you, they already... So here, they already got the level 3 first, it's guaranteed. Unless Ash doesn't hit the wave or something, which is what happens, but you can't rely on that, you're just coin flipping. So mm -hmm. here, you just walk out and let them get the level 2 first, the level 3. And just wait, because the wave is pushing to you, it's fine, just wait. You should never hit the okay. wave here, because so I shouldn't try to fight for level 3, because no. I, realistically, I shouldn't be able to get it. Yeah, yeah. And also, like, um, remember that you have, like, a summoner spell that doesn't do anything, right? So it's, yeah. it's like mm -hmm. you only have flash. So this is really dangerous. If they were smart here, if this Ash was challenger, she would be already here. And Varus would be here. And they would be like, you would have to burn flash for sure. Yeah, this is why it felt so weird like that I didn't get destroyed in this lane. Yeah. But it's basically because they are trolling. And also Varus has PTA, which also helps. Mm hmm. Same thing here again, right? Why just let the wave come to you? You don't need to contest every single push. In high elo, in low elo, you contest every single push. But this is a habit you have from low elo. In high elo, if the enemies are winning, guaranteed the push, just let the wave come. You're not supposed to, supposed to contest it like you're doing here, mm -hmm. because you lose a lot of HP for nothing. And the other thing you gotta remember is, these three minions are not gonna kill any minion. You're not gonna lose any minion from walking away. At most, if you're losing this one, you can just double you, and it's fine. Mm -hmm. So okay. you, you, you you never need to contest the push here if they're getting it first. Mm -hmm. Because look at how much HP you're losing for free. Half HP for nothing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One thing, so this was the worst mistake so far. One thing that I always tell my students is that in Halo it's not like we don't get poked. It's that anytime we get poked, it's always uh, for a good reason, okay? So for example... If you didn't step up like that, maybe you would have lost a cannon or something, okay? But here, mm -hmm. you had no good reason to get poked. There's no minion that you would have lost, nothing, okay? You could AF yeah. AFK here under tower and you wouldn't have lost anything at all. Mm -hmm. So don't contest everything, sometimes just give it up. Because, okay, if this is like, if they're smart, now with the HP that you lost and you have no summoner, they tower dive this. But he recalls, I don't know. Like, if they were smart, Ash executes this cannon, they push this, they tower die with Viego, I don't know why they're not doing it. Because I don't know if you knew, Ash is super, super, super good for tower diving, because she has high range, right? So what happens is she takes aggro from far away, and starts tanking, 
and then she can remove mm -hmm. aggro by doing this. And also she has barrier. So with a barrier she can tank one extra tower shot. So this is like really free tower dive. They have Ash and they have low HP on you. Right. And so, they only had this because I trolled before like yeah, this HP. HP. Yeah. So this is giving me PTSD from when I play against Challenge Raid. This, this happens a lot. I take a bad trade. And in low elo a bad trade is whatever bad trade. But in high elo a bad trade like this it's like oh my god you get tower dive. <laughs> Especially mm -hmm. with this comp that they have. If they had like different comp, maybe it's not easy to tower dive. But with Ash support, tower dive is so easy. So right now what we want is we're stuck in this lane because of bad trading. So mm -hmm. the way the way you get unstuck from lanes like this early is recalling and cannon wave. So do you know the timings of cannon waves? I don't know the timings, but I usually oh. just I usually just uh look like on my nexus okay like but when the wave's coming right so that's bad because uh, uh, as a challenge rate you see what you need to do is always plan the next two or three waves what you're gonna do so if you don't know the timing of cannon waves you can't plan what to do with them that's really bad you mm -hmm. need to know them so cannon waves come every 90 seconds okay so just remember these numbers okay remember this four seven ten okay so mm -hmm. the cannon waves will come and and they don't leave Nexus at minute 4. They arrive at your tower at minute 4, okay? Minute 4, can wave okay. arrives at your tower. Then minute mm -hmm. 7 and minute 10. And then, this is 3 minutes, no? So we gotta add one in between. So 5.30 and 8.30. These are the timings of cannon waves in your tower. So that means the next wave, 5.30, that's cannon, okay? So next wave is gonna be cannon. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the wave that you can get unstuck from this lane. You know why? Because look at this. You get tier 2 boots. So what you're gonna do, right. what you should do here is try to push or hit this wave and kill it as fast as possible and then just recall by tier 2 boots and come back to lane. Don't be afraid because it's gonna be cannon, they are level level 4, so they can't push the cannon wave really fast, okay? Especially if, mm -hmm. Ash, if Ash trolls and like executes a minion, she can't kill the cannon after. So this is your ticket out. The next wave is when you should back. Right, so I should wait for them to push this one and then farm it. Yeah, and, and then, then back. recall. Yeah, because uh, normally you, you would lose minions if you do that, but it's very early. They only have the runs. If I was them, I would be recalling here as well, because it's canon. Okay, they didn't recall. So you're not hitting the wave at all, that's the issue, right? So now you can't even recall because the canon already arrived. What I would have done is try to contest the wave a bit and hit it even if I lose some HP, because you don't care, you're gonna recall. So use your HP as a resource. Mm hmm. There's, now you, now it's too late, you didn't hit the wave at all, right? So now you gotta stay. So now you're stuck really forever now, because... Don't next... I just die if I walk up then? I don't think so. Like, if you just hit the, the frontline minion, like here, you yeah, just, yeah. just hit the front mm -hmm. minion once or twice. Yeah, I'm way too far back now. Okay, so now it's whatever, you just gotta let the wave push. And it's too late for you to recall. You didn't recall. So now you gotta stay and next wave is gonna be minute mm -hmm. seven cannon wave. So by the way, the timings I gave you is when they meet in the center. I said tower, it's when they meet in the center. So this way would have met in the center at 530. I mean this is low-key fine for you because if you just farm and nothing else happens, you come out on top as jinx. The issue is that I don't know how nobody's diving you here. <laughs> Yeah, I will get off soon. Oh, I will okay. die. Maybe maybe now. I don't remember exactly. Maybe it's gone. When you're getting dived as Jinx, you gotta use the traps well, and maybe you survive or kill one. Mm -hmm. But do you see how... Remember when I told you you gotta plan the early properly? All of this happened off of one bad trade. That single yeah. bad trade cost all of this. It costs you to be stuck in the lane, you can't trade, you can't like walk up. All of this off mm -hmm. of one but not even bad trade because you didn't trade back. Like when you stood here and you got hit instead of walking to the tower. So that's why I always say like how do you go? The less margin of error you have in lane because one tiny mistake screws your whole lane. Then it's really killable now. Now Tristana is coming down. And here's where I die. I want to show you something. Do you see how you're contesting like trading out attacks back on them here? Mm -hmm. Here, see? The truth is you can never kill these guys, right? 
So hitting them doesn't do anything. What you should be doing is hitting the minions instead to remove the threat of the dive and be less time in the range. The sooner you kill the minions, the sooner they stop hitting you. So I see this a lot in Master, which is like you always want to hit them if they if they are in range of getting hit. But sometimes it's mm -hmm. like you're never you don't have any lethal possibility on them, so hitting them doesn't do anything. You're right. I think I'm just trying to like outspace them somehow. No, nah, but you can't. Ash, Ash, Ash has can't. yeah. Ash has the same range as you plus low, right? So. Mm -hmm. Also. This is a common misconception. People think that, okay, let's say that you have 610 range and Varus has 575. Therefore, if you auto attack them once, you can outspace them, right? That's not how it works, actually. As long as the difference in range is less than 100, you, if you hit him, he's guaranteed to be able to hit you back because you're going to be stuck in auto attack animation. Yeah. So you can't outspace them. You could only outspace like a Samira, for example. Or if you're mm -hmm. late game with max range Q, then you can maybe outspace. Because also late game, your auto attack animation is shorter. Because mm -hmm. you have more attack speed. So then you can outspace better. But early with this versus this, you can never outspace one auto. Or against Tash, you can never do it. They will always hit you back if you hit them. Unless unless you hit him, unless you hit Ash when she's like hitting a minion. When she's go, or when she's like walking back. Yeah, right? sure. So this all happened of, of not recalling and being stuck under tower because of a bad trade. We should have recalled even if we lose minions because we're still going to lose minions now. So what's the mm -hmm. difference, right? Yeah. So the other thing that you so did that, here... So that trade is like the, the biggest mistake, you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it snowballs from there. Even if you put Gumayushi here, after that trade, there's not much he can do. He would just recall in, in the cannon wave maybe or whatever after the cannon wave. But he would mm -hmm. still lose like two plates and like a wave under tower, right? Right. Which is which is better than what happened now. Because mm -hmm. now you lost yeah. more than that. So what what I wanna teach you here that you did is this look. So let's say that you have a random play in the game that the random play can be neutral, like a zero, it can be very good. So let's say like a ten out of ten, super good play. Or it can be super bad for your team. You all get aced or something, they get baron, so a minus ten, right? Mm -hmm. So the issue with league players that you're doing here is that they always want to be in the positive. They always want to get positive value out of a play. So after you did that bad trade, the truth is, even if you were a pro player, there's no possible value. You're always going to be here. So mm -hmm. if, yeah. you if you just recall, okay, you lose, I guess, two plates or a wave or whatever. And it's pretty bad, right? It's like, a, let's say minus three, just to give a random number. So... Mm -hmm. You know that recalling is minus three, so you don't want to recall. You go, like, okay, but surely there's something I can do that puts me here, right? But the truth is there isn't. So by not recalling and not being happy with the small defeat, you end up taking a bigger defeat. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the, the teaching is, especially in Halo, sometimes, because in low Willow you can always outplay a dive or whatever, but in Challenger you can't. So in Challenger or Halo, what you got to learn is certain plays, you gotta take the uh, DL, okay? <laughs> you gotta take the small yeah. defeat. So just mm -hmm. recall and take the small defeat is whatever. Yeah, you fucked up, it's it is what it is, okay? Because if you wanna get yeah. always a positive value out of a play that you <clears throat> fucked up, you end up getting even a worse value. Have you ever played like Valorant CSGO? Yeah. It's like if you're 1v3 and the bomb is planted, you just walk away and save your gun. Right, yeah. So it's bad, you're li losing the it's round. It's like minimizing the damage. Right, you're losing the round, it's bad, right? But it, there's no way you can win the round. So if you try and fight, mm -hmm. it's even worse. You lose the round and the gun, right? Mm -hmm. So this is like, recalling here is similar to saving in CSGO. It's like you, sh you lose, but at least not much. Yeah, so they end up getting two blades total. Two waves under your tower plus a cannon and two gills and summoners on Janna. And they get a really nice recall, which is also really huge for them because now um, they don't lose any minions on the recall. Oh, I would ult the bush here to stop a recall. Oh, nice. He stayed holy moly. He should never recall in that one. <laughs> I would have ulted yeah. the, the, the third one in the back. Okay, you I did. do it now. Oh, no, no way. I'm I'm lucky, I guess. Yeah, but that would have yeah. been so huge, by the way. 
Mm -hmm. That would have been super good. You you would have gotten like a blade and stuff. You don't need to ward yet. Don't ward after the blade. Yeah, you're right. I guess yeah. I don't really think about that. Like, because Viego was just bought, right? So he just recalled. So here what you fucked up is hitting this wave. You never hit this wave, right? This wave, if you don't hit it, it bounces back to you. You know that, right? I do, yeah. So Because it's like all together, so it hits the first one. So if you don't hit the wave, mm -hmm. this wave bounces back to you. And, and you want it to bounce because they have more items than you. They, by the way, they're going to get level 6, Ashwalt and Varusalt. And Jenna has no summoners. You have cleanse, but she doesn't. So if, mm -hmm. you, if you hit this wave, this Jenna now gets like double ulted and destroyed. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm, I'm not like playing according to the matchup. Or to the like, way. I want to I, I I I keep push. Mm. But like I shouldn't be able to, maybe. That is more like and before the first yeah. recall. They're really silly, okay? Because if they're if they're Hilo here, what they do is they don't touch this wave because you already hit it a lot, right? So they don't touch the blue wave. And it will be frozen here. And good luck. How do you go and farm? They have double old, ash old, and no flash. It's just GG. Yeah, I can never. I I just can never touch the wave, right? Mm. So here you're kind of like getting away with murder. Mm -hmm. It's good to watch this because you're doing a lot of mistakes that a master player maybe doesn't punish, but a challenger player will. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting looking at this with you because I couldn't really find many mistakes looking at this. And now I see them. Have you heard of playing ping pong? Is what you're doing. You're playing ping pong with a wave. It's like mm -hmm. you push it when you shouldn't, and then they push it when they shouldn't. So it's like ping pong. I would never do this. So if I was you, I would have stayed under the tower because you have cleanse and you have traps. I don't know if they can dive you very easily. Because it's more dangerous actually to be here. Because here you don't have tower and they still have like ash ult, which you have to flash or cleanse, and then Varus has ult. Mm -hmm. so I think it's more dangerous they didn't do it but I think it's more dangerous to be here than to be here because he, right, I don't know why yeah. Ash, Ash doesn't ult you if Ash has ult you it's guaranteed to burn your flash or cleanse because you're against the wall mm -hmm. and then your camera wasn't even looking at her look because you were looking at her see so you would see the Ash ult kind of late and react late yeah so if that happens, that's like really dangerous. Oh, so this is where you come back into a game. I assume Kha'Zix comes and we get double kill here. I think I got the only Ash, maybe. I don't remember now. Uh, that's about traps. So when you know the virus has flash, you want to trap like way far behind. Not there. Mm, Why did she so ult? What can't... the hell? <laughs> oh, she will die. <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess that ult is fine. Yeah, so you know Varus has flash, he never used it, so that, that's why being here was dangerous, by the way, because if you burn summoners on the Ash ult, then Varus can flash ult. Mm -hmm. uh, but here we know he has flash, so I think I would put the traps like max range. I don't. Is that max range? I think I'm gonna put it a bit behind. This one is not like I could see a challenger player doing that same thing, so it's not a big deal. Okay, really nice. Oh, that's a kill. Actually, she's not isolated. I would have kept recalling. It's really yeah. I, I don't like this at all. That's super bad. In ADC, tempo matters a lot, you know? And mm -hmm. you're just lucky that Viego and Tristan don't come here. Yeah. In my mind, something different would happen. Then, like, we would collapse on both of them. So Kha'Zix would need us. But yeah, looking in hindsight, that was. You, you gotta be more more greedy with your wave management. Like you always, as an ADC, always worry about your wave, and then you see what you can do. Like there, you need tempo. You're just wriggling. Just go for tempo. Look, see what happens here. Like he he gets another plate under tower, right? That's because you yeah. stayed more. Because my recall, yeah. So your recall, you got an additional plate off of staying, but he got as well, and you lose minions under mm -hmm. tower. So what's the point, right? And Right. By the way, Kha'Zix comes again, but this is you getting carried, right? If Kha'Zix doesn't come, you can't even walk up to the tower. Mm -hmm. So you're just going flipping better jungle here. Like, you're not doing anything 
for you to win. It's like the jungle is doing stuff to to fix your my mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason this is bad is like if you do this a hundred games, you will get the better jungle only fifty of them, right? So it will be like you don't climb, you stay fifty percent win rate. What are you scared of? I think I don't know where Ash is. Yeah, but like no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So here Ash has no flash. And no barrier, she barriered your ult. And you have plans for Bar Assault, so you if Bar Assaults, you fight him and kill him alone, and then you address reset for Ash. I don't think you should ever be afraid of him here. He's low HP. I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't be afraid of Helpers, but whatever. They're pushing. Yeah, that's the reason I also went to Dragon, because I thought maybe Ash would be there. And they can just kill me. I don't know why you're not playing more aggressive now. You're super ahead, too low side of Ash. You should be playing way more aggressive now. The time to be passive is over. You're ahead, you're fed, level 9. Ult summoners, or you have ult, Jenna has ult. Ash has no barrier and no flash. Hmm. I, I think I'm I'm thinking that Varus has an item. Yeah, That's but he has like he has opportunity, which if you hit him once you disable the passive, you know that, right? After be being honest. out of combat with enemy champions, gain lethality. So if you hit him, Mm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter because you are more level than him, which matters way more. So. Mm -hmm. Bad flash. The flash should be on the left, not behind. So, be here. Yeah, maybe I didn't even have to flash. I don't know. Hmm. So first of all, the, cl like... the, the cleanse was super late, first of all. Yeah. I think I waited, because like I thought maybe Varus would insta ult. Yeah, but, but the that flash... doesn't make sense, because it, it just holds it. In my opinion, the best possible flash would be like this direction, so that you dodge the Varus ult, you're still in range of Ash, like here. You're still in range of Ash, but you're also on, in range of Janna ult. Because if you flash mm -hmm. here, like, you can't hit Ash anymore, and you're, uh, like, it's bad. And here, you can't hit Ash, but it's out of Jenna ult. I think yeah. the best one is here. Yeah, I was pretty sure she, she would die with the ultimate. No, because Jinx ult does more damage if you're far away. Yeah. So close range is really low damage. Yeah, that should have been a double. The flash was okay, it's just wrong direction. Oh, what a jump, what the hell? But why are you so passive? Wait, 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 wait. Here, you keep kiting when you auto attack her this direction and then you get reset here and you keep going. You know Varus mm -hmm. has no ult, right? Like, and Ash also mm -hmm. ulted, remember? So, I don't know why you're so passive all the time when you have, like, windows. So, part of... Going to Hilo as ADC is stop playing so passive and start playing identifying windows of opportunity. So the difference between one of the differences between Master and Challenger ADC is that Master ADC will play way more like a passenger on the car, not making any decisions, not pulling any triggers, just being a passenger. Seeing things happen around him, you just kite when it's possible and just do damage from the back like you're doing now. Challenger mm -hmm. ADC will do all of that, but also when a window opens, you will abuse that window. For example, when you were in the lane level 9 versus 7 and 8, or here, when Varus has nothing, and Ash has nothing, and you can get the reset and keep going in the back. So it's a... To do, to do this properly, you gotta track the cooldowns, track the levels, track the items. Yeah, I don't track the, the Otis as often as I should. Like, you're saying now that Varus and Ash doesn't have ult, but like, I don't have that like I, I, I should have that in my mind, but I don't in game. 